the Canon EOS R7 Mark II is shaping up to be a major upgrade in the APS-C mirrorless segment, promising powerful performance and significant enhancements over its predecessor. While Canon has yet to officially announce the camera, strong indications suggest that it will be released within the next year. Positioned as a highly capable tool for photography enthusiasts and semi-professionals, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II is expected to bring meaningful improvements in image processing, autofocus, video capabilities, and overall ergonomics. However, the key question remains, will this be a revolutionary leap forward or just an incremental update? Let's delve into what this upcoming camera is rumored to offer and whether it's worth the anticipation. Canon's original EOS R7 has already made a strong impact in the APS-C mirrorless market, offering a 32.5-megapixel sensor, dual-pixel CMOS AF2, and impressive burst shooting capabilities. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II, however, is expected to push these features even further, aligning with Canon's strategy of refining the APS-C lineup for users who demand high performance without stepping into the full-frame territory. One of the most discussed upgrades is the introduction of a new sensor and improved image processing. While Canon may stick with the same 32.5 megapixel resolution, speculation suggests that the Mark II could feature an updated CMOS sensor, possibly stacked or backside illuminated (BSI). A stacked sensor could significantly improve readout speeds, reducing rolling shutter effects and enhancing low-light performance. Paired with the latest Digic X processor or a newer iteration, this camera could offer faster performance and better dynamic range, making it a more compelling choice for serious photographers. Autofocus is another area where the Canon EOS R7 Mark II could see substantial improvements. The current R7 already boasts an advanced dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system, but the Mark II is expected to incorporate Canon's cutting-edge AI-driven subject tracking, similar to what's found in the EOS R3 and EOS R6 Mark II. This enhancement would enable superior detection of human eyes, animals, and even vehicles in both stills and video modes, making the camera an excellent choice for wildlife, sports, and event photographers. With faster autofocus speeds and greater accuracy in complex shooting conditions, the R7 Mark II could position itself as one of the best APS-C mirrorless cameras in the market. On the video front, the Canon EOS R7 is already a capable hybrid camera, offering 4K 60p oversampled footage and 10-bit C-Log3 for greater color grading flexibility. The Mark II, however, could take this further by introducing 4K 120p recording, a feature that would make it far more competitive with rival cameras like the Fujifilm X-H2S and Sony's APS-C lineup. This would be particularly appealing to content creators and videographers looking for slow-motion capabilities without compromising on resolution. While overheating concerns might persist in such a compact body, Canon could introduce improved thermal management to allow for longer recording times, similar to the advancement seen in the EOS R6 Mark II. Additionally, there is speculation about the potential inclusion of internal RAW video recording, though it is more likely that Canon will enable 12-bit ProRes RAW output via HDMI rather than offering full internal RAW. This would cater to filmmakers who require high dynamic range and greater flexibility in post-production. Enhanced video tools such as improved zebra patterns, waveforms, and focus peaking could also make the Canon EOS R7 Mark II a more serious filmmaking tool. Another area expected to receive improvements is in body image stabilization, IBIS. Canon's current IBIS system is already one of the best in the industry, but further refinements could make handheld shooting even smoother, particularly benefiting videographers who often rely on gimbal setups. A more advanced stabilization algorithm could lead to better performance in low light and higher efficiency in reducing micro jitters during video recording. In terms of pricing, the Canon EOS R7 launched at around $1,500, positioning it as a high-end APS-C option. With the expected upgrades, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II could see a price increase, potentially landing between $1,700 and $1,900. While this would still make it significantly more affordable than Canon's full-frame options, it would place it in direct competition with rivals like the Sony A6700 and Fujifilm's X-T5 and X-H2 series. Canon's APS-C mirrorless line has traditionally catered to enthusiasts who need professional features without the bulk and cost of full-frame systems. 
the R7 Mark II will likely continue this trend, appealing to wildlife and sports photographers who require speed and reach, as well as hybrid shooters who need a balance between stills and video. Battery life is another area where improvements would be welcomed. The current LP E6NH battery in the R7 offers decent performance, but a more power-efficient processor in the Mark II could extend shooting times. Additionally, Canon could refine its USB-C charging and power delivery, allowing photographers and videographers to shoot while plugged in, an essential feature for long-form content creation. When it comes to storage, the dual UHS-2 SD card slots in the R7 were a practical choice, but the Mark II could elevate this by introducing a CFexpress Type-A slot alongside an SD card slot. This would allow for faster buffer clearing, particularly for high bitrate video recording and continuous burst shooting. However, such an upgrade might drive up the cost, so Canon could reserve it for higher-end models. Ergonomics and handling have always been strengths of Canon's R-series cameras, and the EOS R7 Mark II is expected to refine this even further. A redesigned grip with deeper contours could enhance comfort for prolonged handheld use, particularly for those shooting with larger lenses. Additionally, Canon could introduce a fully articulating touchscreen with improved resolution and a higher refresh rate EVF to provide a more immersive shooting experience. A top LCD display, while typically reserved for full-frame models, is another possibility that could give the R7 Mark II a more professional feel, allowing users to monitor settings quickly without relying solely on the rear screen. Ultimately, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II is shaping up to be a well-rounded APS-C powerhouse that builds upon an already strong foundation. If Canon delivers meaningful sensor improvements, better autofocus, enhanced video capabilities, and ergonomic refinements, this camera could easily become the go-to choice for hybrid shooters looking for professional features without the full-frame price tag. That being said, competition is fierce, Fujifilm's X-H2S offers stacked sensor technology, Sony's A6700 boasts advanced AI autofocus, and Nikon's upcoming ZAPSC lineup could introduce unexpected surprises. For the R7 Mark II to stand out, Canon must ensure that it doesn't simply tweak a few specs but instead provides a noticeable leap in performance. If the pricing remains competitive and Canon addresses key limitations from the original R7, such as rolling shutter and thermal efficiency, the EOS R7 Mark II could solidify itself as the best APS-C mirrorless option on the market. Whether you're into wildlife photography, action sports, or content creation, this camera is expected to offer the right mix of speed, precision, when it comes to storage, the dual UHS-2 SD card slots in the R7 were a practical choice, but the Mark II could elevate this by introducing a CFexpress Type-A slot alongside an SD card slot.